Praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the men, the servants, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine, unto you I say shalom. I want to do this quick lesson on correction, and correction is something that each member that comes to the truth has to deal with. All right, we have we and really what corrects us is the word. We're cut by the word. All right, so correction is something that you're going to have to deal with because one way or another, you didn't know it, okay? Every, even in life, all right, it's things that you don't know. You know, as you grow as a, from a child to a, a young adult and to an adult, you have to be corrected, okay? And the ultimate correction comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, whether that correction comes from a scourge and in most, some cases, even death, all right, where, where you know, our people, Israelites, they just don't want to get right, and the only remedy is, is death. And that correction is, you know, is is a heavy correction from the Heavenly Father. But we all have to deal with some form of correction. And, and the thing about our people, the stubbornness and the stiff neck, stiff neck of our people, as the scripture says, our people don't like to be corrected. They'll be corrected by the so-called white man. They'll be corrected by somewhat, someone, someone with high stature, someone with a name, someone with a following. But they won't be corrected by men um, that look like them, come from the same neighborhood they come from. You know, may talk like them, okay? Because they feel that that that, that the men of the Lord, which you see on the street corners, that are you know putting up these lessons online, we're, we're nothing more than you know. We, they don't really see us as men of the Lord. They don't really see us as prophets. They just see us as niggas that may know a little bit, okay? But the correction is ultimately coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We're we're just the uh, messengers. All right. Um, so let me start with this. And um, I start in Proverbs. I'm going to start in Proverbs, um, the book of Proverbs, chapter one and verse 20. I'll just start at verse 20. Wisdom crieth out. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates in the city. She uttereth her voice. And that wisdom is this truth, this doctrine. This this knowledge that we you know we we've been we've been given that the Lord has endowed with us through His Holy Spirit that we prophesy and preach to our people the correction, all right, telling our people to stop being wicked, okay? Because our people have the Scripture says our people have a zeal of the Most High but not according to knowledge. They know deep down they know when they're going off they robbing somebody they they trying to talk to some someone's woman or sleeping with some man's woman robbing some robbing each other or just just defrauding each other. All right, they know when it's wrong. All right, and and, and we're here to tell you, hey. We all went off, but hey, stop, stop being wicked and and and, re, and repent and return to the heavenly Father. All right, verse twenty-two. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Our people truly hate knowledge. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they they they've um, really turned their back on knowledge. All right, the knowledge is this truth, this doctrine that is, like I said, being prophesied by the men of the Lord, starting with the apostles on down. Okay, but our our people hate knowledge. They they despise they they despise the um they despise the uh, the chastening of the Lord. All right, if the, if the correction was coming from the so-called white man, the so-called white man was telling our people to get right. All right, stop doing this, stop doing that. All right, the name of the Lord is the Heavenly Father is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and His Son is Yahweh Shai. All right, get out of them church. Hey, at least half of them would 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 would, would uh would, would I would say even more than that. I would say even seventy five percent of Jake would. Turn on the church, turn on Islam, and come into the truth of Esau was telling them. But Esau's not going to tell you because he's the wicked. He's the devil. He's the deceiver. He wants our people to remain in that gross darkness. He wants our people to continue to sin. So, as the scripture says in um, the book of Revelation, I believe the 11th chapter, so he can accuse us to the Heavenly Father. Say, look at these. These, these people aren't the apple of the Most High. Side. Look how they're acting. Look how they're committing adultery. Look how they're murdering each other. Look how they're defrauding each other. Okay? Um, verse 23, turn you at my reproof. The reproof is a correct correction. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you and will make known my word unto you. The Lord is clearly pouring out his spirit unto his people by sending his servants, the prophets. All right. The prophets are, 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 are warning you, giving you a warning, telling you the righteous way. 
okay? Because I have called and you refused, I stretched out my hand and no man regarded it. It's like the Lord is stretching out his hand. You're drowning in a pool and the Lord is giving you a life jacket, all right, extending his arm. And, and no, and, and our people, you know, are saying, I got it. I, 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 I can make it, you know, I can, you know, um, I know how to swim pretty much. All right. So Lord is, and, and Lord is reaching out his hand. The Lord is continuing to reach out his hand while this truth is able to go out before the famine of the word, before Jacob's trouble uh, happens. Because when Jacob's trouble happens and the famine of the word comes, that's it. The, the gates of salvation, the, the window of, of mercy is, is shut. All right. Because. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I have called and you refuse. I stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set at not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. You, hey, you don't care about the correction. Okay. The correction is here. All right. It, it, and you can ask questions. Okay. If I don't, I'm not supposed to do this, what should I do? If I'm not supposed to do this, what should I do? What's the righteous way to do? Go about it. But our people, <laughs> they don't want the reproof. They don't want the correction. Verse, verse 26, this is the judgment. When the judgment comes, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you. When you're in a time of uh, uh, despair, when you're in a time uh, of trouble, that's when the Lord is going to mock at your calamities, at your, at your downfall, because you didn't regard uh, uh, the correction. You didn't take heed to the correction. You didn't take heed to the word. Then shall they call upon me, I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. All right, for they that hated knowledge did not choose the fear of the Lord. And it really boils down to fearing the Lord. All right, the correction. It's like when you was a child, you, you, you know, you're supposed to feel your, your, feel your parents, their correction that came down. And that correction usually came in the form of your ass whooping. That was the ultimate correction right there. Okay, you don't do this. All right, you're not doing this. All right, next time you do that, I'm going to whoop your ass. And that was the ultimate correction. So that ultimate correction, um, you know, is, is going to come because you, Jake, didn't fear, choose to fear the Lord. All right, and that's what it all boils down to, fearing your how about Shem Yahweh when you do these things, all right? And, and and when you go off, acknowledging that you went off, acknowledging that you are you were at fault, okay? That, and that's, that's, a, that's a big thing with Jake, that Jake does not want to acknowledge that, you know, yeah, you know, you went off. And, and repent from that. Don't go back to doing that same thing. All right. Um, I wanted to grab this real, real quick. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I also reject thee and thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will forget. I also will forget thy children. Our people are destroyed because of that lack of knowledge. But knowledge is, is available. OK, uh, the, the knowledge, not the knowledge of this world, not the knowledge of getting the college degree and trying to make a million dollars. You know, the knowledge of salvation, the knowledge of Yahweh, the knowledge of the righteous laws of the Lord. But our people are still stuck in their wicked ways, stuck in their ways of, uh, of rebellion. All right. This is um, the book of Jeremiah 6 and verse 16. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and ask for the old path. Where is the good way and walk therein? And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. The, the, you know, that was a correction. Hey, to tell, the, tell the, the, the children of Israel to come in the old path, which is the law, which is the righteous ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, where you will find rest for your souls. You're not finding rest for your soul. Your soul is not at rest here in America or, or wherever you Jakes may dwell. All right, your, your soul is, is, is reckless and, you know, and, and you got wicked imaginations. All right, your, your soul is not at rest. But our people said we're not going to walk therein. They don't. They despise the correction. I have said, watch man over you. Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said we will not hearken. Therefore, hear, hear ye nations and know, O congregation, what is among them. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words nor my law, but rejected it. You, I just Jake rejected the correction. So therefore, the judgment has to come. All right, he's going to bring evil upon this people, Israelites. All right, first and foremost, okay, because they have not hearkened unto the word; they they despise the law. Okay, um, grab this Hebrews uh, twelve, Hebrews twelve and um, five. I'll start at four, and ye have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin. And sin is the transgression of the laws. 
All right. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. All right. And then the chastening is the correction. Despise not being corrected by the Lord. Okay. That, that's a good thing. That they mean that, well, it's going to say the Lord is dealing with you. All right. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourge every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, the most high dealeth with you as sons. And what is he that, what is he whom the Lord chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, where, whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. We want to be, we want to be considered sons and daughters of Yahweh by Shemir Shai. So yes, we want the chastening. We want the, we want the scourge. We want the rebuke. We want the correction. Correction is a part of this truth. All right. Like, like, like when you come into the truth, you understand like, damn, I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Oh, I was wrong about this. That, that's a part of being humble. That's about showing humility and meekness. All right. All these things, all these things written, you know, in the scriptures, that's where I get it for. Uh, let me see. We're, we're, we're written for us. We're written, we're written for our correction. So we can see the examples of our forefathers and how they went off. So we don't make the same example. I mean, make the same mistake. Excuse me. This is the book of um, Hebrew, uh, Hebrews, uh, Romans chapter 15 and, thir and 3. No, is this it? No, 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we, through patience and comfort of the, of the scriptures, may have hope. So all these things were written, all right, the, the, the trials of Job, the trials of Abraham, all right, the, the trials of King David. All right, uh, 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 King Solomon going off. All these things were written, and even the prophets, all right, the disciples, all right, the, the, the lessons of, of Yahweh Shah, the parables, all these things were written for our, our learning, for us to learn from, for us to take these and, and, and apply them to our life, all right? Take these examples of, of, in the scriptures, all right, and, and apply them to our life, because that's what's going to boil down to with your faith, all right? Your faith, we're going to have to use these scriptures in, in, in this time of Jacob's trouble. We're going to have to use these scriptures to, uh, 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 um, keep us strong and keep us stable in, in, in that time, you know let me grab that, uh, knowledge and wisdom shall be a stability of thy times Isaiah 33 and uh, 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, that, that's what's going to keep us stable alright, in these times, but I, we gotta, when you get, before you get to that point, you have to um uh, uh, uh you know, um you have to be chastened of the Lord, all right? You have to um, uh, 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 take the correction. This is um, 2 Ezra's, yeah, 2 Ezra's chapter 16 and verse uh, 18, beginning, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils and what shall we do, what shall I do when these evils come? Or this is the prophet, the prophet Ezra, because he saw the vision of the, the, the destruction, the plagues, Jacob's trouble. All right, he's saying, what shall I do when these things come? Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute. These were sent as uh, scourges to correct your ways, to amend your ways. All right, for, for you to get right. All, and, and this is, and even up to that point, the Most High is going to show mercy well, for, for those that are sincere, that they give you a chance to amend your ways. All right, verse 20, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be all, nor be all always mindful of the scourges. They're not going to be mindful of the, the, the things, of the correction that the Heavenly Father uh, um, uh, uh, sent upon them. All right, they're not going to be mindful of the scourges. They're not thinking about, damn, you know, this is happening to me because I did this or I did that. They're thinking about a way to get out or how can I... Uh, 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 um, you know, um, how can I get out of this on my own, by my own hands? They're not leaning and depending on the Heavenly Father, all right, or or, or Yahweh Shah, okay, but hey, they're not mindful of the score. Even to this day, our people are not mindful of the score. Our people catch hell and they're going through something and they're not thinking about what the hell they did. They're thinking about, you know, why is this happening to me? Or, or, or um, you know, what can I do to make this better? Or, you know, and, and that's going to come, that's going to come to a point where, like I said, the Most High is not going to, he, He's going to be done with you niggas, man, where that hour of temptation comes when that uh, MOTB is made mandatory. And that's when Jake is going to really going to be catching hell, going to be, you know, uh, 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 um, they're going to be uh, they're going to have all these scourges, all these calamities. 
And they're going to be looking to save their life by taking that MOTB, not leaning and depending on the Lord, not taking into account the scourges that got them to, got them, got them to that point. Okay. To, to, to where they're, you know, uh, in this, in this, in this, uh, in this low state. All right. Um, so yeah, that's the lesson. I, that's, that's the rest of the end of the lesson. You know, I just wanted to, you know, just do this quick les lesson on correction because correction is a heavy thing in this truth where you have to be able, be mature enough to accept the correction when it comes, when it comes from the Lord. If you rebuked of a brother, all right, and, and a lot of times you may not be rebuked directly from a brother, but you may watch a video where, it, and through the Spirit, it's talking to you, all right? So, uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Yahweh Kakodash. Until next time, I say Shalom.